Hi, my name's Graham, and welcome to my workshop. I'm here today to introduce you to the Handshuba Offset Calculator app, and throughout this video we'll be demonstrating most of the calculations included in it. Just to let you know, the most useful calculation in this app will be the last one shown, so please watch to the end, and if you have enjoyed the presentation, then please like and subscribe. To get into it, this app is designed to help calculate offset bends in tubing to make the process simpler, easier, more accurate and with less waste. So what is this app all about anyway? And why would you need it? Well basically, it's a calculator to help you change this into this using these. Now, let's get serious and have a look at what this app can actually do. Up on the screen, you can see that there are seven calculations in this app. And we will now look at the very first calculation. With the simple offset, a calculation can be done literally in seconds. There's no stuffing about. Just enter the values and the answers are there for any angle and any offset you desire. Watch while I demonstrate on the big screen how to work out the position of the second bend once the first bend has been completed. You simply enter the bend angle, enter the required offset, then tap done. And there you have your measurement length showing exactly where to place the mark for the next bend on the tube. Hey, it even shows you the run length, so you can work out your positioning as well if you need to. Now really, it can't get much simpler than that. The next calculation I'd like to show you is called the predictive offset. This offset allows you to work out the position of more than a single bend before any bends have been made on your tube. And that's because this calculation takes into account the offset creep or gain of the previous planned bend. With this calculation, you can even plan and mark all your bend positions on a single length of tube before even picking up a set of benders. Okay, back to the big screen and let's demonstrate how to do this with the calculator. Step one. Measure out the distance to your first bend and place your mark on the tube. On the calculator, enter the bend angle, your required offset, tap done, and the calculation is now completed. Now just measure and mark the second bend position on the tube, and then you can make both bends at the same time. Now isn't this far simpler than charts and calculator? Now this next offset, the backbend offset may seem a little unusual, but we included it anyway, just for those special times when you could use it. And I've shown a layout here to help demonstrate when you could possibly use it. This offset calculates the location to place the zero mark of your benders in order to create a bend that folds back on itself for any bend angle greater than 90 degrees, and can be used to create a bend that needs to travel down something, such as the cross brace shown here. On the calculator, Simply enter the reference length and the bend angle and the calculation will tell you where to place the bend to zero mark in order to make this bend accurately and for the required angle. This calculation will only deal with bend angles greater than 90 degrees of course and if you put in an angle less than 90 degrees the app will tell you so. In a nice way of course. This next offset calculation is one I personally get asked about quite often and is used to calculate the length added to the bend position in order to install a parallel tube in a run while maintaining a constant distance between the tubes being installed and the tubes changing direction. As you can see on the image here, we have two tubes that we wish to install in parallel and because the mountings or clamps are set spacing, we need to maintain an equal spacing between the tubes with any change in direction. And besides, it looks much better if you do it this way. In order to do this, we simply enter a reference length and the bend angle from the primary tube and then enter a required spacing that we wish to maintain. The calculation will then give us an added length which will place the bend in a location that will maintain the spacing for that bend angle. You can also use this calculation to work out the add distance for a parallel back bend if required as it will accept angles greater than 90 degrees. This last offset, the joint offset, is my favourite and one of the most useful offsets in this entire app. This calculation will allow you to place an offset and the offset end 
exactly where you want it and can be used to place the position of a joiner, a bulkhead fitting or an instrument terminator and will give you the tube cutoff length to achieve this. This particular calculation has the potential to save you so much time and fiddling about that you may just get this app for this calculation alone. So let's go back to the big screen and the whiteboard and let's go through a calculation. As can be seen here, we want the offset to end up in a specific position to terminate in a fitting. Simply enter your bend angle, your reference length, your offset distance and the required before joint allowance and the calculation will calculate the joint centre. You can then cut the tube there and then just trim the tube to seat firmly in the joint or terminator. As I said, this is great for placing staggered joints in tube work and terminating tube at instruments. But you could also use this calculation if you needed to step up to a new level before changing direction as it already gives you the bend position. And you can also use it to work out a saddle offset based on the centre of an obstruction. Now you can see why I love this particular offset and why I would like you to have it. Well, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this short video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you could tap the like button to show your appreciation, I will be exceedingly grateful. And if you would like to see future videos on the app, then please subscribe now. Thank you for your time and I will see you in the next video.